shall make seven lamps for it. What is implicit here is that there will be seven individual lamps for each of the seven branches. Though not described, they would be round or oval lamps with a mouth at one spot from which the wick would protrude. They would probably have been worked into the top of a flower of each branch, or if the branch continued out of the top of the flower, they would be fashioned so that the lamp would be made to come out of the protruding branch. Verse 37 continues, and they shall arrange its lamps. Some translations have these words read something like, and they shall light its lamps, instead of, and they shall arrange its lamps. The word is Allah, and it means to go up. For this reason, it may be better translated as set up the lamps rather than light the lamps. Although, later in chapter 27, the same term, Allah, will be used for the lighting of the lamps. In other words, the details for the construction and arrangement of the menorah are being given now, not the details for the care of it. This is seen in the continuation of the verse, verse 37 going on, so that they give light in front of it. The purpose of the menorah was to give light throughout the night. Exodus 30 verse 8 says that the lamps were to be lit at twilight. Exodus 27 21 shows that it was to burn all night, being tended to from evening until morning by Aaron and his sons. And Exodus 30 verse 7 shows that they were to be extinguished in the morning when the high priest dressed them. Exodus 26 35 then shows that the menorah was to be placed outside the veil in the holy place, across from the table of showbread on the south side of the room. It would be parallel with the wall, and so the words that they give light in front of it means that the direction of the table of showbread would be that which was primarily illuminated, but the entire holy place would be fully lit from the lamps. Verse 38.